This is the magic tea. As we can see that in this plane, there are three ports. That there are two opposite ports, and this is called the H arm, and this is the E arm. This is the additive arm, and this is the subtractive arm. Okay. And if we input two signals of equal and opposite, uh, equal phase and equal magnitude, we'll get a zero output here and an additive output here. Okay. This is the measuring port or the output port. Initially, we have to find the input power, input reference power actually. So we we'll fix it here. Switch it on and put the gun bias voltage at 9.5. Okay. In this experiment, the modulating frequency and amplitude are not changed. You switch on the VS meter. We have to adjust the gain and the range so that the reference is fixed at minus 30 dB. As we can see that the reference power is at minus 30 dB and we have adjusted the coarse gain along with the fine gain to use the full scale. Okay. Now our task is to use any one port of the magic key as the input port. Another port will be the output port and the remaining two ports are shorted with match load. Okay. These are the match loads. As we can see that one of them is the input port, the other two are matched and and we are taking the output from the fourth port. Okay, so in this experiment, we do that, we fix anyone as the input and for that particular set we'll have three readings. Three readings, once we'll put the output here, here and here and all the remaining ports are shorted with the match load. So for one particular set we are having we are having three readings. Say this is the input, we take output from all the three and for each it is one set. So after one set is done we are having three readings. Like this we'll put another port as our input port and similarly we will have another 3 readings like this there are 4 ports and each will have 3 readings so in total there will be 12 readings, 12, 12 readings. And, and we know that the scattering matrix is a 4 cross 4 and the others will be the S11, 22, 33 and 44 which will be 0 ok so as we know that in this, in this experiment we have to find the output power with respect to the reference input. So we are using the dB scale which is the second scale from the bottom. Okay. And as we are using the the minus 30 dB range, we were using the minus 30 dB range. So whatever the reading will come, say the needle comes at 2. So the reading will be minus 32. Minus 30 plus 1 and 2. Minus 32. Like this, so we will use the second, read, second scale from the bottom where dB scale is written.